Today in the topic of ship handling, I'll talk about the speed when you are picking up the pilot from the pilot station. All right. So when the contact is made with the pilot station before arrival, the speed of approach for picking a pilot should be confirmed. Vessel should approach at speed requested by the pilot boat. All right. If speed of the pi is not provided, speed of approach is not provided by the pilot boat, then approach at a speed which is minimum at which the vessel may be maneuvered. The slower, the better, because it is easy for then the pilot boat to come alongside and safely board the pilot on your vessel. All right. But you have to keep the speed at which you can, of course, maneuver the ship. So when you are approaching a pilot, you have to create or make a lee for the pilot boat. Basically, you bring the pilot boat onto the leeward side of the vessel, not on the windward side where there may be strong winds, but on the leeward side of the vessel. So it becomes very essential to make a lee for the pilot. For making the lee, bold helm together with the engine RPM or engine movements should be used to turn the ship away from the windward side. Lee should be created on the side where the pilot ladder is prepared and this instruction will be provided to you by the pilot station of course. Propeller wash also acts as a barrier and creates lee to some extent as you can see in the diagram below. So you can see the position of the vessel here is position 1 and then position 2 and this vessel has used a helm movement of hard port with half or full ahead of the engine movement. Here you can see is the direction of the wind. This is the direction of wind. The red mark here is of course the pilot station or the pilot picking up point. This is the pilot pickup point. And you can see how the propeller wash at the back of the vessel can also create a barrier. All right. Dropping the pilot outwards. So when you're dropping the pilot, of course, it's the same thing. Vessel should slow down near the pilot station and lee again should be created or provided. Speed should be reduced as per the pilot's instructions. Now, if you have been saying, you know this at this stage, what happens is the pilot normally reduces the speed at which he wants he or she wants to disembark and once the pilot goes down from the bridge he goes down the master is requested to maintain a certain speed till the time he or she disembarks into his or her own pilot boat if any speed is to be adjusted then the pilot boat of course has access to the vhf and they communicate to the ship asking them to adjust the speed before the pilot disembarks, make sure that all information regarding traffic movements should be obtained from the pilot. So ask about inbound traffic, keeping clear of inbound traffic which are coming in to pick up the pilot as well as any outbound traffic. As these vessels are restricted in their ability to maneuver because they have slowed down for the pilot to be picked up or they are waiting at the pilot station for the pilot basically they are hampered in their ability to maneuver but since you are going out you have disembarked the pilot your speed is slightly increasing you should be it is your responsibility to make sure that you keep clear of any inbound vessels for that make sure you get all information from the pilot as required you can also ask the pilot about prevailing wind tight current conditions which may influence the maneuvering of the vessel when awaiting near the pilot station, sometimes the pilot may delay or cancel. Then it, you should make sure that you do not block the channel. In fact, use a combination of the vessel maneuvers and engine movement to maintain your vessel's position if pilot is slightly delayed. Otherwise, keep monitoring the vessel's position which may shift due to the wind, currents or tide. Make sure that you maintain the vessel position and you do not drift into any opposing channels or any inbound traffic while you wait for the pilot. If the pilot is of course cancelled, then start using the contingency plan of the passage plan where you find or you seek the nearest point of anchorage or turn your ship back and join the channel to proceed as required. Alright, so this was a short lecture on adjusting the speed or creating a lee for the pilot.
for them to be picked up as well as to be disembarked. So let me know what you thought about this video. I'm trying to keep these videos as short as possible so that you get these quick lectures. It helps you to answer questions in the exam as well as a little bit for practical application as well as oral examination. I'll see you soon with my next video guys. Bye and study hard.